Hey guys, Tony DeNaro here. Welcome back to the channel. Just a very quick GME technical analysis update for you guys. We should be back to the regular live streams on Wednesday, and we also have a evening live stream planned for Wednesday night. So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. In the meantime, I've been keeping a close eye on GME, on the technicals, itching for a chance to get back in. But the market is not cooperating, as you guys are all painfully aware. If you are a long-term GME holder, a never-sell GME, this video is not going to be for you. This is for my audience members that are swing trading or trading GME based on technicals. It is approaching a key support level that I called out three or four weeks ago after the GME split. Just to recap where I am at with my GME trading strategy, as you guys may recall, I switched to a technical trading style with GME after it failed to break through this resistance point after the stock split. I had made some purchases down here. I sold them the day after the split when it did not break through. You can see the sell here. I bought back in. Uh, I was expecting, you know, potentially that it could go down to the support level, but it did not. After the reversal was confirmed for a couple days on these daily candles, I did buy back in. And then once this run up to 43.45 broke, I sold into these daily red candles. And I have been monitoring it and watching it go back down towards this support line that I called out back in the middle of July. So this line is right at about $29.50. Watch that tomorrow and the rest of this week to see if we get a bounce. If we do get a daily green candle or two off of 29.50, I will be re-entering my GME position. If because of continuing deteriorating market conditions, GME fails to hold this support line 29.50, I will be watching it as it goes down to this support line that I have drawn here at about 24.25. As I know most of you guys are aware, many, many stocks, well, almost all of them have been faltering in the past few days because of Chairman Powell's speech last Friday at Jackson Hole. Since none of us can say with any certainty exactly how long these deteriorating market conditions are going to last, as I add into my GME position, whether it's tomorrow, later this week, or into next week, depending on what happens with the price action, I will be doing so gingerly and continuing to monitor the market conditions, leaving myself plenty of dry powder in case I did not call the bottom exactly correct. That is all I've got for you this evening on GameStop. I look forward to chatting with all of you in the live tomorrow, answering your questions on stocks, options, crypto, and more. No super chats ever required. Hit that like button to help us out with the YouTube algo, and I will see you on the next video. So you